You know, we come this time of the year, and we know Jesus is the reason for the season. But too many people get bogged down in the seasonal stuff, mm -hmm. and they get bogged down, and there's so many people at this time that this is one of the most heart ache time of the year for some people. Uh, this is a time where a lot of depression will come on to people. There's a lot of problems that come on to people. And they, they get so busy and they're just scurrying around and trying to think of presents and think of this. But then they have times where they miss loved ones. And they have actually some loved ones that are that are here, but they're broken. There's broken relationships. Mm -hmm. So this is a time that we have to understand that this is a time when we need Jesus more than we need any time before. Lord. This is a time that Jesus is the reason for the season. Jesus is the reason to heal all those hearts. Yes. To heal the broken hearts. Jesus is here for us. Well, in Romans 5.12, I just want to go into some things. That in Romans 5.12, it says, Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death passed upon that have sinned. Now, you think this is kind of a funny thing, but we have to understand that when Adam came and there was sin that brought about, before they were in the garden, Adam and Eve, they were just the tenders of the, the naked, have everlasting life there. But because of their self-centeredness, because of their wanting to have their own way, they brought sin into the world. And because their sin came into the world, this caused a confusion. Nah. That's the reason why nowadays that there are people that are so confused in life, and even, even more so that it's kind of elevated in this time, that sin just starts <coughs> to reign. But we have to understand that in Isaiah 9, 6, and we've been talking about 9, 6, that it says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be on his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And we have to understand during this time where people are just exaggerated or exaggerated, whatever word that is, that comes out of my mouth, you just interpret it as you can, that we see that, that all the confusion that is in heightened in this time is the way that Satan wants to just get our mind off the things of God, off the Savior. He wants to cause confusion in everybody's life. But we see that we see that God sent the Prince of Peace. And he sent a, a peaceful offering for us. And that offering was die on the cross to give us peace. Glory. See. He took all the chastisement upon him so that we can have peace. Lord. So when we go through this and we have to understand that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. It talked about in, in the Old Testament, in Isaiah 57, 19. Yes. Isaiah 57, 19, it says, I, I create the fruit of the lips. Peace, peace to him that is far off 
and him that is near, says the Lord, and I will heal him. Glory. So what he is saying here, that Jesus as the Prince of Peace, there are people that are far off from him, and they still near him, but they still need him and need that Prince of Peace. Glory. So what he is saying, that I am speaking to you, that I'm sending my peace, I'm sending Jesus, so you can have peace in everything. Amen. And all those hurts, all the things, and all those relationships that you've had that are hurting, all the things that are separated because of sin that was in the world, that Jesus came to give us peace that will overcome sin and overcome all things that hurt us. And so we understand that there is a peace there, that he has sent Jesus to be our peace, that peace to draw us near him, draw us to him, even if we are way out here or if we're very close to him. He is here to heal our hurts. He is here to heal our relationship. He is here that, first of all, the relationship that because the sin came in the world at first, he sent Jesus, the Prince of Peace, to heal us from all of our sins. Glory. To heal us from all of our sins. Glory. And he came to heal our relationship with him that we are brought back and re-reconciled to God Almighty that loves us completely. Yes, so he is there for this. But he also is there for our broken relationships mm. that we have with people in this earth. Mm. Ephesians 2 4 says, Lord. Ephesians 2 4 says, For he is our peace who made both one and have broken down the middle wall of partitions between us. Lord. So, Sin was that wall that kept us from having a perfect relationship because the sin that was entered through Adam, he sent the second Adam, which was Jesus, to break down that wall so we could be reconciled and be with the one relationship and that we restored to God Almighty. That he gives us that peace. But he's also saying that I want to break those walls down in the natural, not only in the supernatural, but in the natural. Well, there have been walls that have been put up between us and people. Not. There have been walls put us between humans. Mm -hmm. There have been walls that are even put up in ourselves that needs to be broken. Well, so Jesus came as the Prince of Peace to break down those walls that we had from God himself to reconcile us, to have a relationship, that peaceful, joyful relationship of God Almighty. But he also sent those, Jesus, the Prince of Peace, to break down those barriers and walls that we have with yes. the human beings that we deal with. That he can come and give us peace. Because he puts that peace in us. Because Christ lives in us. Is the Prince of Peace. That he can overcome. That yes. even any barrier we have with anybody. Yes. But it has to come through his peace. There are people and we all know. We all have somebody in our life. That we are not really. There's a wall or partition there. And that wall and partition there is because it might be sin in our life. It might be sin in somebody else's life. But it's, it's that wall that needs to be broken. And the only way that wall can be broken is through Jesus Christ, Lord. the Prince of Peace. That he can take that confusion. He can take that things that were people that are far off or even near to us. That they can break those walls down. Because the Prince of Peace came for us to have that peace. In Romans, Romans 5.1, Romans 5.1 it says, 
Therefore, being just by faith, we have peace of God through the Lord Jesus Christ. So, what, what is that? What does that mean? Because if we have the faith, we are justified, just as we've never sinned, that we are justified, that we can break those walls and restore relationships. This is the thing. That's the reason why so many people are hurting is because they have unhealthy relationships. They have relationships that have been going askew. And part of that thing is that they, first of all, they have unforgiveness in their heart. And they put that wall of unforgiveness up on them and they put that barrier so they cannot have that peace with that individual. So they, and also they even do it with God. They put a wall up and the walls of doubt, the walls of uncertainty, the walls, they put those walls up. But because we can have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace, that he can break those walls down in us. That the things that relationships that can be restored. I know sometimes that at, this time of the year that people would think, well, I'm going to come and I'm just going to enjoy and, and be with people and just love them. And then things happen and things just go off kilter. And they then that hurt starts to manifest. And all of a sudden a wall gets put up there, that partition that helps, that keeps us having that peace of mind, the peace in our heart. So we have to understand that God said, through faith, we can break those walls down. We can break those walls of unforgiveness. We can break those and we can be healed of those hurts when people have done us wrong. But it's through faith and letting the peace of God, the peace, the Prince of Peace, come and rule in our life. Mm -mm -mm. And that goes in Colossians 3.15. Colossians 3.15, and it says, Let the peace of God rule in your hearts. Let the peace of God rule in your hearts. Let that Prince of Peace have his way in your life. Let, it, let that peace overwhelm you. Let that peace whelm you to do things to tear down that wall, to build relationships. Not only with God Almighty of the things when we have doubt, but also with relationships that are skewed. It tells us that we're supposed to love our neighbor as ourselves. Love God with all of our heart, all of our mind, and all of our soul, and love our neighbor as ourselves. Yes. Who's your neighbor? It's any person that you contact with. Yes. It might be a relative. It might be somebody that hurts you. But we need to break those walls and God has given us the Prince of Peace, Jesus, that was born and died on that cross so that we can have peace. We have to understand, it says in 1 Corinthians 14, 33, it says, For God is not the author of confusion. And when we understand, when we have confusion in our life, we need to pray the peace of God, the Prince of Peace, rule in our life. Thank you. Let him rule in our life. Yes. So we have to understand that it's not even only in our broken relationships with God and people, but also circumstances in our life. No. Things that trying to get us over, that just trying to get us down. Mm. Things that might be Financial, it might be just anything you can think of that when you just uneasy nah. and confusion comes. Jesus came as the Prince of Peace mm. to alleviate all confusion. Lord. He came to build us up. Mm. Now we have to understand that in Ephesians 4 3 it says that. Endeavoring to keep in unity and despair in the bond of peace. That is a goal that we need in our life. 
that we have this bond with Christ Jesus, that that bond that is knitted so tight together that we can not, it won't turn loose. Now, it's too many times we have this. We have, this is the way we are with Jesus. And we're not very tight. And we just pull away easy. Because our peace is upset. Confusion sets in. But God wants to bind us like this with our fingers. And that's hard to pull loose. Hard to pull, pull loose. Too many times our relationship is like this. God, if you do this. God, if you do that. Father, if you make these people this way. He is saying, no, I want to be one with you. And I want to bond with you that you can just be knitted together. And it's hard to pull loose. So we have to understand that, that God, and it says that Philippians 4, 7, it says that, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, and keep your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. So when we try to understand, and we try to try to say, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. Let that peace rule, because Jesus came as the Prince of Peace. Let Him rule in your life that it'll pass even what you think or even what you understand. Boy, yeah. He steps as it. Why am I going through this? Why am I going through this? No, sometimes you're going through things that it's just because of Satan, because of sin in our life. Sometimes we're going through things because of our own mistakes. Sometimes we're going through things just because we're going through things because there's evil in the world. Sometimes we're just going through that. But we have to say, Lord, you sent Jesus yeah. as the Prince of Peace. Yeah. I believe in faith that he is my Savior. I believe that he is in control and I believe he's going to, I let him rule in my life. Lord. And so then we don't really have to understand. We just have that peace that we know we're going to get through. Lord. We know that he is our strength. Amen. So we see that when Jesus was leaving and going back to heaven, that he said he's going to come back. But we have to understand that he says, in John 14, 7, it says, 27, John 14, 27 says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither be afraid. So, as we see the gifting that God gave us when Jesus was born, one of the givings, biggest gift there is, is peace. Peace. That we can have peace in our mind. Peace in our spirit. Yes. Peace in our soul. Peace in every part of us. And he will even tear down barriers or that wall of partition that might have been caused by sin or just our own selfish attitudes that we that can be broken because he sent the Prince of Peace here and that's one of the gifts. He sent Jesus to us that he is, that he is our wonderful counselor. That he is mm -mm -mm -mm, the mighty God. He is the everlasting Father and he is the Prince of Peace. So the day what I am speaking today. Do we let. What are we letting rule in our life? Do we let the confusion. Do we let the. Broken relationships. Do we let doubt. Do we let the circumstances of this. Earth. Destroy our peace. Or do we, by faith and trust and acknowledge God that gave us that perfect gift, that Prince of Peace, that let us overcome everything that's in the world, 
all the demons in hell give us overcome our broken relationships that he gives us that peace and we need to thank God that he has given us that he has given us the Prince of Peace the Prince of Peace given us the Savior that we can overcome even when things seem bad and things swirl around us even where we have think we have no hope that God gives us that peace because the Christ in us is the Prince of Peace and it is in us and he gives us peace against all odds against everything and you know that you're going to get through because that peace gives you that gentleness gives you that compassion gives you that love to be able to get through no matter what because his peace reigns because he is the Prince of Peace name of Jesus. Father God, we come to you today and we thank you that you said not let our hearts be troubled. Father, heal our troubled hearts. Father, sometimes when we feel like you're far off or sometimes when we know that you're near, <coughs> You come and heal us. You heal us. Your peace take us and just overwhelms us. And we thank you for that, Father. Father, no matter what we're going through, no matter what, help us realize that you're the Prince of Peace, your Son that you gave us as free gift through your mercy and grace that we can have faith that your peace will rule in our lives. And we thank you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen and amen. Amen.